hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nelo Mweke and today's video is all about taking full body measurement for a plus size girl so if you want to learn how to take a comprehensive body measurement please keep on watching subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video this is our model we are going to be using today so when a client comes to you for you to take measurement you have to first of all check that the bra they are wearing you want to make sure that the boob is where it's supposed to be judging from her now turn to the side the boob is not giving is not boobing is going down is dripping down so what you have to first of all do is to adjust their bra you'll be like excuse me let me adjust your bra secondly if your client is coming for measurement you tell the client to wear a fitted clothes so that you can see like the silhouette of their body but in case they don't want to wear like they want to wear a free clothes they should know that they're gonna remove their clothes like they're gonna go naked when they come do you understand so let them know that first you wash now to the side look again the boob has come up you already know that we use inches i don't use this centimeter side i use the inches side so you are going to place the tape on the shoulder at this point towards the neckline don't place the tape here because you know that this the shoulder is slopey so towards this side is reducing an inch so you are going to use here then the first thing we are going to be measuring is the upper bust length your upper bust length is where your armpit is starting from for a plus size person that is what you should use for a, like a slim person you can use the normal chest line that they use like two inches or three inches above your bust line but because you're a plus size person you're going to use the upper bust length or the chest line being at the beginning part of the shoulder our bust length is six inches then we'll go to the bust length our bust length is from the shoulder to the center like the fullest part of the boob and for her it's 12 inches so you go ahead and write that so from the bust length you are going to get the under bust length and for you to get under bust length is here where the bra is stopping so for her her bra is stopping at 16 inches from the under bust length, our under bust length is 16 inches. We are going to get the waist length. Please help me and hold your clothes this way. Even though you're wearing a fitted top, but the clothes is loose. So hold it at the waistline. See the smallest part of our waist. That is going to be your waist length. Then the waist length is going to be the smallest part of the waist. For her, it's 19 inches. So you go ahead and document her 19 inches. So from the waist length, which is 19 inches, I'll go ahead and get, get my hip length and my hip length is going to be move your hand please the sharpest point of the hip at this point so that is what is going to be my hip length be very careful when I take a measurement for a client if she's looking down make sure that you tell her to look straight forward because when she's looking down through watching or observing what you're doing it can affect the measurement so make sure that after taking the client's measurement that she's also looking straight ahead you understand so for the hip length her hip length is 29 inches so i'll go ahead and take my knee length i'm taking my knee length at the beginning part of the knee for her you can't see it, so i'll show it to you so the knee length i'll stop my knee length at the beginning part of the knee here which is here for me so for on your client's body you check it has is 41 inches then from here we are going to determine our full length go back please the full length you know you already know what your full length is going to be it depends on what you yourself you want like the clothes they're making now i want you to note that when you are taking your measurement and you're at the under bust length and then you want to take your waist length make sure that you're holding the under bust length and then you're not holding the tape like this straight to the hip to the waistline no hold the under bust length so that it will enter the measurement to follow the but the client's silhouette at under bust length before you now go ahead and take your waist length your hip length and your full length so from now we will go ahead and take our round bust keep please keep your hand down our round bust keep your hand down please we will take our round bust which is going to be the fullest part of the bust so you can see where the bust the tape measurement is at the back where you're taking a round bust so this is where it's going to be so let's go to the front again the round bust is 51 so you go ahead and take that measurement after that we go to the round under bust her round under bust will be at that point where you measure the round the under bust length which is exactly where her bra, bra is stopping at 
So you are going to take the measurement and round on that bust, which is 39. So you write that down. So you take her next measurement is going to be her round waist. You go ahead and take her round waist. Precisely at that point, we took our waist length. For her, her waist, her round waist is 40 inches. Please look straight. Well, you see the way she has looked down now. Look at what fell. No, look straight. Yes, this way. Turn your back so you can see where the waist is. Remember, you're going to take the measurements at let's go again. Where you took your waist length. So right now we're going to take our round hip. Our round hip is for her is 55. Her round hip is 55. Turn your back so they can see where it is supposed to be. Yeah. So at the back side, you can see where it is at the fullest part of the bum bum. Turn to your side so they can see it very so you can see another dimension. Yes. At the side, this is how it's going to look at the fullest part of the bum bum. Please don't bring it down and don't bring it up. So that is the entire top of the excuse me please some clients have two hips they have like this side of the hip is shooking out then they have a um, hip deep then they have the actual hip so they're going to have like hip one and hip two and some of them their hip at the upper part this side is bigger than the hip at this side so if you have a client that they're working with that has that type of body please make sure that you're going to have your hip length hip length one for this side and hip length too for the actual hip and then the round hip also you have the hip length round hip one and round hip two so if you have that you know you're going to be working with two um, hip lengths and two round hips especially if the round hip at the upper part is bigger than this part yeah so from here after measuring the round hip we don't take our knee measurement our round knee we don't take that we'll do that when we are cutting our clothes which i'm going to explain once i'm done with this measurement so editing chinelo here first of all let me apologize this video i was sweating a lot i sweat very easily so let's get right to the point what i was saying is this you don't measure your round knee how you get your round knee is from your round hip during your sewing so how to get the round knee is will be the round hip minus six or seven or eight i wouldn't say you should do nine the highest you should go is like eight inches depending on the person that you're making the clothes for depending on the occasion of the clothes so if you want your clothes to be smashed you should be doing like minus eight inches from your hip and if you are making clothes for an elderly person you know you're going to use it like minus and subtracting five or six inches from the round hip if you are doing a clothes that you want to wear but you want to wear to church and you don't want it to be all smashed up maybe you can do like six or seven so that's what it is it all depends on the occasion and all so now we are done with the round part we we'll go ahead and take our armpit to armpit this armpit to armpit is used for you probably are doing a tube dress or an off shoulder dress or an, a, a dress that require you to make sure that you are going to get the actual measurement of the air and your armpit armpit is from the beginning part of the armpit to the end of, to the beginning part of the armpit on both sides for you to have a guidance for how to get your armpit to armpit what you should do is look at the the person you are measuring their bra wherever their bra is you start from there so this is the bra hands to this place hers is giving 14 and a half inches i hope you can see that please don't make the armpit armpit at this part make it at this part of let me say like maybe four inches or five inches from the shoulder that's where i'm going to get your armpit armpit from we go ahead and take get our bust pan another name for bust pan is nipple to nipple so we are going to get nipple to nipple is from the of course the nipple to nipple it's self-explanatory but for us to get the bust pan we'll take our measurements here and her bust pan is her bust pan is 10. we'll go ahead and get our shoulder measurement so she will turn her back to get the shoulder measurement, you're going to start from the shoulder here. If you if you touch your client at this point, you're going to see that there is a bone that is here. So that is where you're going to take your start your shoulder measurement from. So from here to here, her own is giving 16 inches. That is what her shoulder measurement is. After that, now we'll go ahead and take our sleeve length. So our sleeve length is obviously from the edge of the shoulder here down to the wrist. Now it's dependent on you where you want your sleeve length to stop. It can be here, it can be here, it can be here. Now some people call their sleeve length or some people measure their sleeve length with what we call back sleeve. And um, the back sleeve means 
from the center of the neck here that is how you're going to get your sleeve length and go all the way down if you're using the method of back sleeve it means that you're going to keep your tape measurement at the center of the back this way and go over her shoulder this way to get the sleeve length that's it but if you're using the normal sleeve length or the basic sleeve length that we know you keep your hands at the shoulder this way so if you're calling it sleeve length so you're going to start at the shoulder here if you're calling it back sleeve you're going to start at the center of the shoulder sorry at the center of the shoulder yes down to this wrist or the where you want your sleeve length to end so once you have gotten that you go ahead and get our round sleeve if, if it's going to be a long sleeve you are going to get the upper parts here which is 19 for her get this part like two inches or one inch two inches or one and a half inches away from the elbow this is 15 inches for her then at the wrist you get it which her own is eight inches if you are doing a three quarter sleeve length you can go ahead and get this place so that is how you get your round sleeve so once we are done with this now the next thing we are going to get is to get our tube circumference that's if you are making a tube dress you go ahead and get it and to get that you can better to lift up their arms and then bring it down please bring it down yeah so you get it this way please turn your back so they can see where the, the tape is at the back second friends this is what you are going to use here make sure the tape comes up very well and enters her body very well so turn your front now we will now turn our front and this is where we are going to get our tube second friends now for you to get this tube second friends when you are getting a measurement try and make the, the, the measurement to be a bit snug because it's a tube you are making do you get so make it to be a bit snug normal normal i want supposed to be 38 but because I'm making the this snug, it's going to be 46. That is what our tube circumference is going to be. We are going to measure the off shoulder circumference. This one is measured the same way we measure the tube circumference, but we are now going to include the sleeves, the arms, on for you to get the tube circumference. So this is it. You go ahead and include the arms and get it, which is 50 inches. One tip I will give you for off shoulder measurement is Usually, a, a female, your round hip is always very close, almost the same thing or two inches, plus or minus two inches difference from your round hip. So, assuming that your round hip is 50, your tube, your off shoulder circumference should be around 50 or plus or minus two, which is what, eight inches or 52 inches. I'm going to show you that you're on the right track. Now, for the people that have pear shape, that meaning that the upper part of their body is smaller than their lower part of their body. That might not be the case. So if you have some, if you're dealing with someone that has a pear shape or a P shape, meaning that the upper part of their body is bigger than their lower part of their body, that is going to be a different thing altogether. But for someone that has like normal body, like normal in quotes, the hip and the off shoulder circumference is around the same thing. So now we're going to go ahead and measure if you are going to make a trouser you are going to be measuring the round tie so for you to get your round tie let's go back please how you get that is that open person to open their leg and then you get upper tie here this upper tie is she's she's having the 35 and a half and making a pencil or a cigarette pants you also measure her round knee giving 21 inches for pencil trouser you know you need to get the round ankle here so for you to do this if you do it this way the trouser will not enter the person's leg so how you are going to get the round ankle is for them to please can you raise, tell them to raise up their leg raise up. so when they raise up their feet you put the tape under here this way and then take the measurements this way this is how you take the measurements let me bring it to the front so this is how you take the measurement from under the ankle under the feet here you bring it here this is how you take your round ankle for pencil trouser next thing we're going to need now is the crush length and for us to get this you tell the client to turn their back usually it will start from where you want your trouser to start from so if you are doing high-waisted it's going to start from if i did a low waist trouser you're going to start from anywhere you want it to be so from the beginning part at the waist part this is how you get your crush length or um underbought length 
So you take, as well as the band is starting from here, you take it this way to under her butt. Please make sure you're taking this measurement from the back, not from the front, the bum bum side. That's where you take this measurement from. So you take this this way, her, her cross length and her or her under butt length is 17 inches. And this is what you are going to use. So at this point, if you're making a top, you know, keep your hand down. If you're, if you're making a top, <laughs> so at this point, if you're making a top, you are obviously going to get the measurements of your top. This is the way she's looking down. You're going to take length, please look up. So she's always looking straight ahead for your measurement to be correct. So now you go ahead and take your top length. <laughs> go ahead and take your top length. If you want the top length to stop at here, 29, 30, anyone you prefer. Allowing your client to bring her own measurements is not completely a good idea. I would advise you to do that when you have no other option. But if you have an option, please make sure you take your own measurements. If your client is not around or is not in like in the vicinity that you are, you can do an online consultation because I have clients that are not in Nigeria, but I take the measurements online. Just follow the steps I've given you and you're going to achieve a perfect uh, or almost perfect um, fitting because, you know, you have to give room for error. But with you taking your measurement by yourself, there's going to be little or no error in order to reduce the amount of adjustment you need to do on your clothes. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, and I will see you in the next one. Ah! Bye-bye! God, heat don't finish my life here. Heat don't finish my life.